Hey, what's going on guys? Garden Shed here and welcome to the first uh, video on my vlogging channel. Um, I have no plans to show my face, so yeah. So I'll show you my bike. As you can see on the number plate, I've very carefully covered it up with an old t-shirt. Um, so I thought I'd do a review of my 125. Um, before we get into that, I did say a couple of weeks ago on a video on the gaming channel that I would be getting an action camera soon um, when I got paid. The only problem is I've got a rather expensive month. Um, my car insurance is going out. I pay for mine once a year. Um, I'm trying to save up a bit for that. This has got to go in for a service next week because um, I'm close to... It's got to go in for its 3,000 kilometre service. Um, and yeah. And my car's due for a service and MOT, so potentially it could be a fairly expensive month, so hence why I haven't ordered the camera just yet. Um, also, it was costing up the price of bigger bike. A um, couple of additions I want to add to it. I want to get engine guards, uh, bobbins, just in case I do drop it, then it's protected. But they're fairly dear. Um, so, I don't know. I will get a action camera. Um, but I just thought I'd post this video to tide us over a little bit. But I'm really pleased with this bike. So it's a Zontes Panther ZT1258A. And it is an A, not a B. Um, I double checked that. Really pleased with it. It was about £1,400 on the road price. Um, and yeah, it was cheaper than a second hand Suzuki or Honda. Um, one in decent nick. Uh, it comes with two years warranty. I had one problem, um, which was a dodgy uh, indicator stem, and they replaced that free of charge, no problem at all. Uh, it wasn't the bulb, I checked the bulb, it was the actual stem. So yeah, they replaced that free of charge. And they can get parts in easily for them, unlike most Chinese bikes. Um, so, it's not too bad, I've done 3,000 kilometres. So good things about it, it's cheap. As I said, about £1,400 on the road. Um, I think the price has gone up a little bit. But it's very economical um, for a little 125. Really pleased with that. It's never let me down. Um, a lot of people have said that there is an issue with the kickstand cutout. Um, so the engine cuts out when you put the kickstand down. It has got a centre stand so you can warm it up. Um, but yeah, I haven't had that problem yet. Um, the only thing I did have was, because it's got a manual choke, uh, if we go around this side, I'll show you. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. Yeah, so manual choke there. Three stages, so on, when you first start it, as soon as it fires, flick it to the middle bit, and then flick it down to the bottom when it's warmed up. Um, I did have a problem with it cutting out initially, um, and that was a simple fix, I just turn the idle screw up a little bit, just a quarter of a turn, and haven't had a problem with that. Um, but yeah, it's really comfortable. Claim top speed is 65. I have had 65 out of it, um, but it needs to be on a long straight road with um, nothing, no sort of headwind or anything like that. Um, and I'm not a big chap. I'm five foot six, slim, and um, yeah, I don't weigh much at all and um, so if I tuck it doesn't make a difference unless there's a headwind then if I tuck it does make a difference um, but yeah so it's comfortable most comfortable around sort of 50 miles an hour uh, you can't it will sit at 60 happily uh, the only problem with it is is after on a long journey the vibrations in the foot pegs and in the handlebars annoy me um, so I tend to slow down but Round town and stuff, it's absolutely brilliant on a country road with lots of twists and turns. It's really good fun. Um, but remember to always ride responsibly. I don't know why I've still got that sticker on there. Probably need to get rid of that. Um, but yeah, I gave it a little bit of a clean. Um, the camera always shows up things. I haven't had any rust on it. Um, I've driven it in all weathers. I've only cleaned it a couple of times. Um, yeah, really, really pleased with it. Build quality wise is, mechanically it's fine, 
I uh, haven't had any problems with that apart from the indicator stalk which I mentioned earlier. Um, the only thing is these little studs around here that hide the bolts. I've lost one of those. Um, that fell off and I saw it on the fuel tank. I thought what the heck is that? And couldn't work out where it came from and flicked it off and then got home and realised it was one of these. Which is a little bit annoying. Um, and somehow I've mysteriously lost the cap that goes on the wing mirror. So we've got one on this side and then on this side it sort of disappeared off. But, you know, that's one of those things. But otherwise, all peachy. Um, it's got a nice rack for a top box on it. Mine's about 35 litres, I think, or 30 litres. Uh, Rentec top box. Oh, pound! Woohoo! I love it when you find free money. There we go, steal that. Yoink. Um, yeah, no problems with it at all. The only thing is with a big top box is the, um, well, when it's windy you do feel a little bit of aero resistance, but that's because the bike's so light, um, and a crosswind you do feel it, but I suppose you get that on a 125. And it's got like a little luggage rack that comes off the back thing, and it took me about 10 minutes just to fit the, this plate here. And put the top box on, but other than that, no problems. Um, the top box comes off, which I don't use a lot. I've only got it on because I literally just got back from shopping. Um, tiny little peony exhaust, so that's my hand, so not very big. Um, but, you know, that's fine. It's not overly loud. I haven't removed the, um, not mufflers, whatever they're called, baffle. Because, yeah, not much point. But um, yeah, really pleased with this bike, and it's got a manual kickstart if the battery does run out. Um, the one thing I would say is I haven't really ridden it in dark, um, but what I've read a lot of reviews on is the headlights aren't very good. Um, they're alright, but not great. But yeah, other than that, it's a great bike. And why did I get the Panther over any of the others? Um, the Tiger, for example, is more of a cruiser. And it looks really cool, um, the only thing that didn't sell it for me was this has got disc brakes front and rear, and the Tiger hasn't. The Monster is a little bit too high in the seat height, um, I can, could get my feet down on it, and I'm 5 foot 6, um, sort of most of my foot touching the floor, just heels very slightly lifted. Um, and I figured for a first motorbike, I probably want to get my feet down in a hurry, if I need to. So I went for the slightly smaller one. Um, but the bigger one weighs more. It's got exactly the same engine, slight different fascia. Um, but yeah, of course, because it's bigger, it's a little bit heavier. But yeah, really pleased with it. So if you guys have any questions on the Zontes Panther, I'll try and answer them as best as I can do. Um, but yeah. So as I said, action camera is coming. Not quite sure when. It has been a little bit delayed. Um, Financially, of course, I think it's a case of um, prioritising a little bit, and I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to have to spend more money on lessons or whatever to get my bigger bike test. So while away, oh, that's the other thing. Um, so on the handlebars, it's just the normal stuff. You got starter there, side lights, headlights, warning lights. All the switches and things, um, so most motorbikes for the indicators you have a push thing in the middle to cancel your indicators. On this it's just a simple three way switch and sometimes it's not very reassuring that it's gone back into the middle. Um, yeah, and a little horn down there which is absolutely pathetic. But yeah, I've yet to do a big distance on this. Um, I've sort of done 70 miles in a day. Um, I'm quite tempted to run it down to Norfolk, that's about 80 miles door to door um, and see how it performs. The only slight uh, worry I've got with that is the only way to go unless I'm taking um, main roads is dual carriageway the whole way and this on dual carriageway I think if you're um, looking at getting a 125 if you're a fairly taller bloke I think the sinuses are a little bit better on uh, dual carriageways and things because they they'll sit at 65 um 70 this will i mean it will do 60 
but you get blown around a bit um, up a hill behind a lorry at, with a headwind and you find yourself sitting at 55 which isn't great but yeah anyway I shall post a video when I've done that because it sh hopefully should be a little bit of time but anyway guys thank you ever so much for watching really appreciate it hope you enjoyed the video and the quick review and I'll keep you updated thanks for watching take care